What's going on guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're actually gonna be starting out a new series here on the channel. I don't know how many videos I'm gonna make, but it is gonna be sort of a should you support series, okay? So firstly, I'm sure you read the title, we're gonna be going over Andrew Tate, okay? So I know, I know, everyone knows Andrew Tate and whether you like him or hate him, we're gonna be going over reasons for why you should um, either support him or, or not support him in the end of the video, okay? So, as always, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you think, and let's just get right into it. So, first, we're going to be going over some of the bad that Andrew Tate has done, okay? So, what makes Andrew Tate a bad person, and why is he such a controversial figure? So, one of the main things is that people brand him as a misogynist. So, I think that we should look into this sort of claim and sort of determine why people say this. So one thing that people really point to is that he is very um, adamant about saying that women cannot do certain things that men can do. So one of these things being driving, okay? And there are several clips of him online saying that women can't drive. Now, I personally, again, disagree with this because obviously this is a very bold claim and I just do not believe in something like this that he would say. And I think that this is something that probably one of the worst things that he's done Um he just kind of rags on women every once in a while for for just random shit, right? And I just don't think that's really called for. Now, does this make him, you know, some horrible mass murderer? No, obviously not. Doesn't make him really that bad of a person. Just makes his takes kind of goofy. Makes him look kind of goofy, but doesn't make him a bad person at all. Um, next is we're going to be talking about how he manipulates uh, people to come on, or he did used to. I don't know if he still does. Uh, manipulate girls into coming on his like live cam shows. And now this is something that, again, is pretty, pretty, pretty big deal, okay? You know, emotionally manipulating girls to come on his channel and live, live inside of his houses. That's kind of one of the things that he was charged with, though I'm pretty sure that the he actually has been let, let out of jail and he is off of those charges now. But uh, yeah, so basically what he would do is he would tell women like, oh, uh, like you're really pretty you need to come work for like this cam business and then he would basically just keep them at the house where they would just like record themselves like online for guys you guys know what i'm talking about and this is one of the things people are saying that's bad that he did by like manipulating them and again i do agree he should not be doing that however it's not like he did force them to come in right he did give them a choice but he did manipulate them which is definitely something that is uh, wrong that he did do now, next one I'm going to be talking about is that he sort of clowns on people who are, uh, I guess, not going down his sort of, like, business route, I guess you could say. Like, he will often clown on, like, education or he'll clown on uh, people who are were just working regular jobs by calling them brokies and stuff like that. And obviously, that is not called for. That is not something that people want to hear, especially after coming home from a long days of work, you know, just because people didn't start up a cam business uh, where they exploited girls, you know by manipulating them doesn't mean that people need to be called that so that is definitely another thing that should be called out and lastly i have that he sort of runs the real world and the what's the other one hustlers university now people i have not personally tried these products myself but i have seen videos i'll link them all down in the description all my sources uh they have said that it is sort of a scam and it's sort of a pyramid scheme so what that means is basically it's just like something where you got to get you have to get into the program and then you got to basically get someone else to, to join the program using your link and then you'll get some money off and then they're going to do it and get some money off to basically just get a ton of people into the program now the program itself i heard is not even you don't even meet andrew tate it's just run by a bunch of uh pseudo billionaires so that is another thing that i guess he um is sort of wrong in doing now, one more thing I just want to note with him is that he often tries to exaggerate the truth in order to get a reaction out of people. Now, whether or not this is really a bad thing, I'm not sure. It's more just like an argumentative thing that he does, but it is something to note. He'll sometimes lie or, um, you know, skew the truth a little bit just to get a reaction out of people just so that he can continue to make himself look better when on debates. So next we're going to be looking at the good, okay? So what is the good that Andrew Tate has done, you know? I think there's actually a decent amount here. So one of the things that he has done or he's continuing to do is that he donates a lot of money, okay? And what I'm just saying, I'm not just saying like a small amount of money. This is like Mr. Beast level money right here. He donates hundreds of thousands of dollars to charities, whether that be for uh, women's charities in Ukraine, uh, animal shelters, whatever. Andrew is very, very generous when it comes to money. And he is a very, very, very um, 
philanthropic man. I guess I, I don't really know if that's how you say it. Philanthropy. He practices the philanthropy, if you guys know what that means. It basically just means like giving him his money away. Next, we're going to be talking about how he promotes men's mental health, okay? So this is something that is huge and something that is definitely not done enough in our world, okay? It is still, I think it's one or the third leading cause of death uh, is suicide for males and that is absolutely tragic, okay? I think three times as many males also commit suicide as females. So it is definitely a big, big deal, okay? And by promoting men's mental health, by promoting men to go to the gym and to love themselves and be proud of themselves, I think that is an absolutely W thing that Andrew does, and I think that it is a very, 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 very uh, positive thing. So next, what we're going to be talking about is uh, how he gets men to build, not even just men, but everyone, to build... Uh, wealth so he promotes people to like open up businesses and to um sort of explore their passions and work really 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 hard in order to build up wealth from themselves now this is another thing that is awesome and i think that is something that is very important something that's kind of been talked about a lot more recently as well uh is this but yeah andrew basically just tells people to get the um get their wealth up you know by studying stocks whatever it is opening up a business so that they can sort of fight against the matrix i guess you could say now lastly we have andrew is a voice against the matrix okay so what this actually means is that andrew is sort of a sort of a pillar okay you know we all know that the matrix exists i guess that's what he calls it is the matrix and it's sort of just like this like thing where the government basically just controls everything and you basically have no power like all the politics are fake and to an extent i believe that that is all real and he's sort of a voice against that by sort of you know trying to you know people try to shut him down people try to put him in prison and he just kind of comes back swinging and i think that he he is a pretty important figure for that okay you know it kind of he's kind of goes against what all the rich politicians are telling him to be quiet about and i think that is absolutely awesome and i think that he should continue doing what he is doing okay so now for the grand question okay should you support andrew tate in my opinion i'm going to say no okay i do not think that you should support andrew tate but but I think that he is someone that you can learn a lot from, and I think that he is still someone that you should definitely, definitely take some advice from, okay? So whether or not we should be, you know, shouting, shouting for Andrew to be like like the new president or whatever, I do not think so, okay? I do not think that Andrew Tate is a very wise man. I do not think that he is the smartest man, uh, you know. I just don't think that he has his values right when it comes to like women and stuff like that and getting his point across. However, I think that he does have a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, truth to what he's saying in terms of men's mental health, building businesses. And I think that he's a very, very good man at heart when it comes to, uh, you know, donating money and just trying to get people to be feeling better them about themselves. That's literally why he started YouTube is just to, you know, blow up big so that he can uh help just you know get his points across okay whether those be good or bad i think that he is definitely a voice for uh people against the matrix and i think that he is definitely you know showing the the rich politicians that they can't just step all over us so that's the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you want more videos from this series and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace